What's up guys, it's me Trem back with another video and back with another freaking prediction video. You got that right. So, this time it's in London, England. That is not way too far from where I live. But it's still outside of Norway. So, yeah. But the good thing is that it's more adjustable for my time to watch it. So, let's go on to the predictions and fight picks. So, I will be picking... Um, five fights, one uh, prelim fight, and the main card fight. So, let's go. Joe Irish Duffy versus Risa Mad Dog. Madai Ireland versus Iran So reason Madari is uh, training out of the same gym as Alexander Gustafson So that he been training Pretty hard with Ilir Latifi and other people from that gym. And I believe that Risa Madari, even though he is one hell of an underdog on the odds, I believe he can win in perhaps round two I'm not sure if he's a quick starter but yeah uh, both have most percentage of wins by submission so it's pretty even in submission finishes um, yeah, I'm gonna go with Reza Madadi. Alright, the main card. Arnold Almighty Allen versus Makvan Amerikani. England versus Kurdistan. But Makvan Armikani is known as Mr. Finland. The reason is that he lives there and he, yeah, it's his home. So, yeah, he is a Greco Roman wrestler and he trains out of the same gym. As Conor McGregor. So what I think gonna happen is probably a rear naked choke in round two if he can't knock him out in round one. I really don't know too much of Arnold Allen, but yeah. His sort of character looks like um, the Escab. I don't really remember the history of uh, the sword in the stone thing, but that guy. Anyway, let's go to. Yeah, I'm gonna pick Makvan up. Americani 
All right. Second fight of the main card is Brad One Punch Pickett versus Marlon Vera. So this is an interesting fight because it's the last MMA fight of Brad Pickett's career. And he got it in his hometown. Good for him. So yeah. And um, Marlon Vera is a replacement for the one that pulled out due to injury I think. Oh. I really hope for a knockout by Brad Pickett but he has been a lot in decisions and such. Uh, he he has been fighting for maybe over 10 years, so this is the last time. <sighs> I really want to see Brad Pickett uh, getting the win. So, he is also the more experienced fighter, so if, if he managed to do a flash knockout with living up to his uh, nickname One Punch then it's gonna be hell of a fight so <sighs> probably um, four minute mark of round one or round two somewhere there but I, I'm not really sure how good he is with wrestling, submissions, but yeah. I'm really looking forward to this fight. Alright. The co-main event. Gunner. Gunny Nelson. Versus Alan Brahma Joban. Iceland versus United States, guys. The Viking will rule. Alright. Um, <laughs> well, this one is obvious. Of course, they're going to go with Gunnar Nelson. Uh, he is the favorite too, so, but I would say that the only way for Alan to win is if he knocks Gunner out, so that's how he might win and that would maybe could be in round three or something like that but if I I think Gunner's cardio is pretty high so he can uh, weather the storm um <clears throat> So Gunnar Nelson also is a teammate of um, Americani and Conor McGregor, or no, he is more from the uh, fight camp called Mjolnir, which is basically well, it it is in Reykjavik in uh, Iceland, but the name uh, the name is coming from 
Norse mythology, which is the uh, hammer of Thor, Mjolnir. So yeah, a lot of Vikings go there to train and yeah. Um, okay, I gonna. Uh, I don't want to be biased saying round one and such because then it seem like it's disrespectful to the other fighter. That's the only reason I say round two or whatever, but yeah. <sighs> If Gunner can pull out a slick submission in round one, I'm going to be surprised as F. So, anyway, my pick for this is Gunner Gunny Nelson. So, the time that you've all been waiting for, the main event of the evening. Jimmy! Poster Boy Manoa versus Corey Overtime Anderson. Bam. So it's England versus United States. But I think. Jimmy Manwa is born. I think he's born uh, American. I'm not sure I should look that up, but yeah, it says here that he's fighting out uh, his country says United States, which it's kind of weird to me. Anyway, uh, it's a striker versus a grappler slash wrestler. Uh, if it goes to round three to five, I think Corey Anderson can pull off. Uh, a TKO, maybe from ground and pound. I'm not sure about his submission skills. But yeah, uh, Jimmy Manwa is a striker. And he is a little shorter, maybe two inch shorter than Corey. So, yeah, this is uh, the light heavyweight division, so that is going to be hell of a war. Uh, I think there are some bad blood in this, but either way, I'm looking for an exciting fight. I'm going to go with... Probably Jimmy Manwa round two knockout. So that's it, guys. Um, I'm sorry if I spoke a little uh, silent. It's because uh, when I uh, when I'm recording this is past 4 a.m. <laughs> which is kind of idiotic of me to record at that late. I tried earlier but, but I had problem with my phone because of my memory storage. Anyway I fixed it and now we're good. But you guys uh, should check out this event. 
Manoa versus Anderson. London, UK. Okay, bye guys.